In this video, we'll explore the remarkable 2022 Northline 42 wheelhouse, currently listed for sale with the Volk Yacht Brokers. If you're passionate about high performance, category A liveaboard offshore boats designed to withstand challenging sea states and weather conditions, then this vessel is sure to impress you. Stay tuned until the end of the video where I'll reveal some of my top favorite features of this exceptional boat. I even had the chance to experience this all-weather powerhouse in action whilst perched on my favorite spot, the bow, during a mini sea trial where we put its twin engines to the test, reaching an impressive 28 knots. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got some fantastic videos coming up. So sit back, relax and enjoy the view as I take you around this remarkable boat. Before I even boarded this boat, it was easy to get a sense of her impressive sea keeping abilities owing to her low profile. The large and spacious cockpit with its durable teak deck is surrounded by plenty of grab rails, making it safe and easy to use this area when underway in those gnarly conditions. Boarding the Northline 42 wheelhouse is a breeze thanks to the spacious swim platform and the robust transom gate located amidships, ensuring a safe and comfortable entry to the vessel. The spacious cockpit can also be fitted out with comfortable cockpit cushions which are neatly stowed away under the seats. There's also a retractable deck shower located on the transom that allows you to have a quick rinse after enjoying the water. Before we venture inside, let's explore the upper deck. On both the port and starboard sides of the cockpit, you'll find two steps leading up to the side decks, providing easy access for moving around the vessel. The side decks are wide enough to make moving around the boat effortless. High stainless steel guard rails and an abundance of grab rails provide safety and security as you move about on the upper deck. The railing also features side opening gates on both the port and starboard side, making it convenient for boarding or disembarking the vessel from different locations, such as a dock or a tender. This boat comes with a robust stainless steel anchor and a matching anchor chain, ensuring secure anchoring. An efficient electrical low frans windlass is fitted on the vessel for convenient anchor deployment and retrieval. Additionally, a deck wash system is in place which makes it easy to clean the deck and maintain the condition of the anchor gear. I think this view really does give you a sense of her sea keeping ability. Note also the skylights on the raised foredeck, which allow natural light to fill the living spaces. As we head back along the port side, note the spotlight on the coach roof and some more skylights. You will also see the sliding window next to the helm position. The sleek radar mask can also be lowered to reduce the vessel's air draft, which is 3.2 meters. I love this radar reflector. If you need one, make sure you check out my Amazon store. I'll leave a link in the video description. Let's carry on heading aft via the port side deck as we come back into the spacious cockpit. Note also the steps on the starboard side that we use to come onto the starboard side deck. These can also be found on the port side. As you step into this saloon through these two doors, they can be securely held in the open position when desired. This seamlessly extends the saloon to the outdoor cockpit, creating an expansive space for socializing and enjoying the outdoors whenever the weather permits. The saloon boasts a comfortable and inviting living space with ample headroom of approximately two meters and a leather cushioned seating area the interior is finished in beautiful oak, while the floor features teak with ash trim. The saloon also has a dedicated chart table and a dinette area for working or dining, providing versatility for various activities. Large windows ensure plenty of natural light and stunning views of your surroundings. With just the flick of a switch, this section of the seating area transforms into a navigator's chair providing company and assistance to the helmsperson during long passages. So while cruising through the waves at nearly 30 knots, you can easily perform additional chart work or simply enjoy each other's company in comfort and style. The helm station on this Northline 42 is fully equipped with state-of-the-art navigation and communication equipment. It features a comprehensive suite of Raymarine instruments, including a Quantum 2 Doppler radar, 
displayed on two 15.6 inch Axiom screens, a windset and depth sounder. The boat is also equipped with two Raymarine VHF radios. For added convenience, the Helm boasts a Raymarine autopilot system with a rudder angle indicator on the display, ensuring smooth and precise navigation even during challenging conditions. Talking of smooth navigation, let's see what the twin Cummins 472 horsepower engines are made of before we check out the accommodation areas and engine bay. During our trip, the wind conditions were light and owing to the sheltered inland waterways where we were, there were no waves, but I did get a chance to experience what it felt like to go from just a few knots to 28 knots in a matter of seconds. As my subscribers probably already know, for these speed tests I always love to nestle myself into the bow before holding on for dear life. The twin Cummins engines are connected to stainless steel propeller shafts that drive fixed bronze five blade propellers, ensuring a smooth and reliable performance. The deep V hull of this vessel is made of GRP, a strong and lightweight material known for its durability and low maintenance. Keep in mind that this boat is built to CE Category A standards, making it perfect for offshore voyages as it can endure wind conditions of up to force 8 and wave heights of up to 4 metres, which is 13 feet. If this were my boat, I'd be eager to tackle some big waves. But if this were your boat, what kind of conditions would you feel comfortable venturing out in? Share your thoughts in the comments below and remember, I always reply to comments accompanied by a super thanks. Access to the galley and accommodation area is through this opening. As we make our way into the galley and adjacent dining area, you'll notice the well-equipped space for meal preparation and dining. The galley features a Corian countertop, a stainless steel sink, a Siemens induction cooker and a combination microwave oven from Panasonic. The isotherm fridge and fridge drawer provide ample cold storage for your provisions. The owner's cabin is situated forward, featuring a spacious bed that measures 2.1 meters in length. The raised foredeck design provides ample headroom. There's also an abundance of storage options, including under bed compartments that are easily accessible thanks to the assistance of two gas struts. The owner's bathroom is located aft and features a shower with electric planus toilet system. The guest cabin has its own head but shares the owner's shower. Opposite the owner's bathroom is the entrance to the guest cabin, which has a double and a single berth. Remember to stay tuned as at the end of the video, when I show you some of my favorite features, I'm going to reveal what is hidden behind these doors. The guest cabin has its own ensuite head. This convenient and well-appointed space can be accessed directly from the guest cabin ensuring privacy and comfort for guests. The thoughtful design creates a welcoming and functional area that I feel enhances the overall experience for those staying on board. Before I show you some of my favorite parts of this boat, let's head down to the engine bay and talk about some of the performance characteristics of the vessel. The engines can be accessed with ease through a strut assisted hatch located on the cockpit floor. With this convenient design, you can effortlessly perform routine checks and maintenance tasks, ensuring your engines remain in top condition. The vessel is powered by a pair of Cummins QSB 6.7 engines, 
each boasting an impressive 472 horsepower, providing smooth and reliable performance. The engines are cooled by a freshwater heat exchanger system, ensuring their longevity and efficiency. The boat is also fitted with bow and stern thrusters. A reliable Onan 9 kVA generator with wet exhaust is on board, providing ample power for all your electrical needs when away from shore power. The generator has just over 40 hours of use, showing that it's still relatively new and extremely well maintained. The boat is also equipped with a Victron Quattro Combi Charger Inverter to manage power distribution, along with Victron battery chargers to keep the start and service batteries in optimal condition. The vessel also features Bennett's trim tabs, which help to optimize the boat's performance and ride comfort at various speeds and sea conditions. With this level of machinery and equipment, you can really be confident in the Northline 42's ability to handle long passages and provide a comfortable cruising experience. But what about her fuel capacity and range? You might have already noticed that when traveling at just over five knots, then the range shoots up to nearly 1,100 nautical miles. Thanks to her two fuel tanks, she can carry 1,050 liters of fuel, which is around 277 US gallons. The owners told me that her sweet spot when it comes to fast cruising is around 17 knots, where she burns around 60 litres of fuel per hour. So at 17 knots, you can expect a range of approximately 300 nautical miles. Reduce the speed to eight knots and she burns about 10 litres of fuel per hour, giving her a range of approximately 840 nautical miles. The North Lion 42 is a generous freshwater tank with a capacity of 680 litres. The owners told me that the most amount of time they have spent on board at any one time was four weeks. The boat also has black water capacity of around 480 litres. At the time of making and uploading this video in May 2023, the boat is listed for sale with the Volk Yacht Brokers for €895,000 VAT paid. If you want to contact the broker directly, then I will leave his email address in the video description. So a few days before heading over to Holland, I asked my 38,000 subscribers whether they think I should add a section to the end of my videos where I talk about some of my favourite features on board the boats which I feature. And 92% of my subscribers who responded said, yes, do it. So here is the first instalment of what will be a new feature in my videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Welcome aboard this Northline. Let's step on board so I can show you some of my favorite areas. Of course, got a large swim platform here, which is great for access. And look at the size of that door on the transom. I really like the size of the cockpit in here as well. Great for entertaining. You could quite easily fit eight people in here, I would say, at a guess. Very easy and quick access uh, to the engine room through this hatch here, which is really easy to lift up. Coming into the pilot's house. Again, you've got great visibility on here. I always prefer the helm position on the starboard, but that's just a personal preference. Um, I love the big uh, ship's wheel on here, traditional ship's wheel, uh, and the twin Raymarine multifunction displays. I don't think you could ever have too much information uh, when you're underway, especially if you are cruising as a couple. And also, I like the fact that you get a skylight. Uh, above the helm position as well. Very comfortable chair, uh, very sturdy, comfortable chair with a foot plate uh, just for additional comfort as well. So, yeah, you probably guessed it already. I'm always going to say the helm station is one of my favorite places on board, but I think each helm station is so unique that they're my favorite for different reasons. Um, but yeah, the visibility in here is fantastic, and you do get another skylight over on the starboard side as well. 
Also, I just want to take you down below because something that's very unique, I think, about the layout on here is that when you come into this cabin, obviously you've got a single berth over on the starboard side and you've got a double over on the port. But over here behind this cabinetry, you can actually access some of the boat's systems, which is a really good idea because if you need to get access to here, you don't always necessarily want to be in a scorching hot engine compartment. So yeah, you can get access to these systems through this hatch, which I think is a really nice idea. Uh, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to say a massive thank you to DeVault Yacht Brokers for allowing me access to this boat and also to the owners for allowing me on board for a few hours. If you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, feel free to contact me. I'll leave my contact details in the video description. big thanks to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. If you'd like to become a member, click on the link pinned in the comments below. If you're still watching, please give this video a like because it means that more people get to see it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've also picked out a couple of my videos, which if you like this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy as well. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.